Hey everybody, welcome back to We Sprout and check out this display shelf. Isn't it cute? I found it at the thrift shop and I wanted to insert a picture so you could see what it looks like with the shelves in it. I think it looks really nice and I feel like I've seen these before at my thrift stores but I just haven't paid attention to them because I wasn't really in need of one of them. But if you're looking for something to display your rocks or gem collection, I feel like you can find these normally at the thrift shop. I mean, you have to look for it, but you'll find it. All right, so today I wanted to do a video showing what's on our science investigation table. Yesterday I shared what's on our shelves for our four-year-old, and I thought it would be helpful for some of you who have children who are, you know, a little older to see what we are using for our seventh graders. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Last week we were studying fossils, and this week we are studying volcanoes. And here you can see that a lot of these materials are related to that topic. We in attempted to make the Earth's layers using dollar store Play-Doh, and I'll go ahead and insert a clip so you can see how it went. What do you so, have in your hand? Planet Earth. Planet Earth. Did you do all the different layers? Mm, yep. Yeah. Oh, what do you have? What else we should do? Oh, oh. <laughs> Is that going to be a walk? Yeah, no. It's not going to work? Let's see. It's too, oh, much. It's too no. squishy. It didn't work! All right, as you can see, our dollar store Play-Doh was too soft, and the layers ended up blending together. I guess this is why they say pick up quality uh, materials. But I think maybe if you put it in the refrigerator before you cut it, that might help. If any of you have done this project with dollar Play-Doh, I'd love to hear how it went. Um, we still had lots of fun and I actually still ended up displaying it on our shelf just because the boys worked hard on it and I just wanted to honor them, uh, you know, honor their work. Anyway, here we have these geodes that are left over from Dee's birthday. So we have a couple in there and he's going to break them open so we can add them to our display. And then I've printed out the names of different minerals and he'll be doing a sort and matching the minerals to the name and putting them in the display case. And... These are some leftover um, gems and minerals that we had from Dee's birthday party. Then over here we have these volcano three-part cards that are Montessori inspired. And here we have some rocks that we picked up from um, Fossilicious. And we have a little book to go along with that little activity. He'll be doing some sorting as well and, you know, classifying, naming the rocks. And here we have the minerals. Over here we have our rock testing kit and we have some of the rocks that we have been picking up through various nature walks that we've been taking throughout the neighborhood and in parks nearby. Here we have an old classification chart that we already had on hand, a little notebook, watercolor pencils, and more science resource books. On this side we're still working through our earth science trivia questions. We also have this book, Volcano, which is on the eruption and healing of Mount St. Helen. We have this volcano kit and this page on volcanoes that has questions and answers and pictures that I pulled out of our Dollar Tree book and then Volcano Ash. These booklets here are really great. They're um, part of the study that we did on fossils and you get one booklet per fossil. You get four booklets in the bundle. They're from Fossilicious. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I really enjoyed the way these are written, although my son, of course, picked up on a small typo. But overall, they are really informative and they're written in a way where the information is easy to digest and understand. So if you have a child, I think you could even use this with some of the upper elementary grades or even if you do you know you might want to read parts of it if you have a younger child they're definitely really great and a great way to go a little deeper as you're studying the different fossils so here we have samples of the fossils and then these are the tubes like little objects that also match those fossils here we are displaying some of his watercolor paintings and then you can see an overview of the table. Now, my son has done many volcanoes throughout the years, so he actually was not interested in making another volcano model, but my little one was really interested, so he's been making the volcano model with his dad, and we might use this 
for his first great lesson, his first Montessori great lesson. I'll link below more information in the video description if you are interested. And here you can see how we set up our space as we're learning about the different lessons and topics. Here are all the rocks that the boys collected. And here you can see Dee doing some of his rock testing and classification. He is loving science right now and he's really enjoying all these hands-on activities. If you have a child who enjoys geology or any other type of science, I highly recommend if you haven't already creating a space for them to display some of their materials and really interact with them on an ongoing basis. He recently just joined the geological, our local geological society. He has his first meeting tomorrow and I'm really excited for him. I think it'll be a great opportunity for him to learn more about geology. They also have field trips and it will be an opportunity for him to meet other children who share his interests. So we'll see how it goes. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, take a moment to hit that like button and show some support. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.